Hey booze! In this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. <laughs> I think for you to be proud of. Of course you have. You are marrying a man who can support you. That's pretty much all that I have for this video for Young Miami. This is going on my Patreon. I'm going to move to another topic. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready. Somebody sent me this video in... Y'all, it's a lot. Um, so we got a we got a Dusty, okay, that is living with a woman. She's the breadwinner. And I feel like this is a lot of this is a lot of black women right now dealing with this. A lot of women in general, I feel like, because modern day women, we live in a servicing economy right now. And so it seemed like we have the jobs and the men don't. And we are the breadwinners and the men are not. Um, if men would like to argue with me about that, they can. But, uh, sir, you as a man, man decided to create technology and you didn't think how you were replacing yourself when it comes to a job. So men created technology, men created uh, machines and all of this stuff. And so it's really replacing them in the work field. And so we see a lot of women that are the breadwinners of the house now. We see a lot of women that are the head of the house now. And when it comes to black women, we've been the head of the house. So either our men were not in the home, they were out the home, or if they were in the home, they weren't the breadwinners. So, um, and I'm not saying that's the majority, but I'm saying like, it wasn't that great thing, but it's not getting better. It's actually getting worse because of technology, because machines are replacing men. So I'm going to get into this video. Um, this man, uh, I'm going to read his post here. Just, I'm going to read it later. No, this is right. So you mean to tell me you in this house and you fixed you something to eat, you ain't fixed me nothing to eat, you left these dishes in the sink eating the food that I bought and you ain't fixed me nothing to eat and I gotta go to work? Oh, lie, bro. I gotta go to work. You ain't got no job. The you don't do shit around here, but you wanna come here and up my shit. You wanna don't even wash the dishes and you eat? And you ain't fixed me nothing to eat? You know what? I'm tired of this. Bro, chill out, bro. I'm so fucking tired bro, of this. Bro, chill out, bro. I, you, yo, you asleep, bro. What it does you? not matter. You could have woke me up and asked me did I want something to eat. You know I have to go to work. Bro, like, you, know you, you doing this too much This is your last fucking straw. This what you is your mean last, last straw? Me. What you mean my last straw? I strong? am tired of your shit. I'm tired of it. You know what? Bro. What's bro, what the f bro? You ain't eating shit now. You ain't eating shit. I don't give a damn. I don't give a f Oh, why, you should have fixed me something to eat. I don't care. You should have fixed me something bro, to eat. I could have still fixed you something to eat, bro. Like, yeah. What the f yeah, me first, then you. Are you acting like a brat right now, bro? Okay, you pick it up. Now, y'all, I don't know who sent me this video. It must be real because, you know, they blurring out the face and everything. I'm like, oh, my God, what did y'all send me? And, you know, I'm nosy. So I'm like, uh, girl, this is uh, horrible. Uh, somebody in the chat box said that women are the head of their household when it comes to a single family. Uh, a family that a man decided to create, a man decided to start with her, and somehow she ended up leading that home. That home that you're talking about? Is that the home that you're talking about? Huh? Is that the home that you're talking about? Is that the home that you're referring to? I'm just, I just need you to give me uh, clarity on that. They kill me with that. Black men love to use that as a rebuttal. Listen, it's outdated. It's outdated. And this is the thing. This is the thing. Black men are conditioned to think that because the man is not in the home, that that's not a family. 
Just because you left or just because you not there don't mean it's not a family, though. That's why it's called a single family. So regardless of if you were there or not, it's, it's still a family that a woman is heading because a man left and left her to deal with the family. It happens every day. That's why there are widows in the world. Gosh, I don't know. And this is why y'all need to y'all need to update y'all talking points. Y'all talking like it's it's the eighties or the nineties. Update them, please, fast, in a hurry. Oh my gosh, it's like it, these men will start a family and don't think that that means something. That's the problem. You can't go start a family and and then be like, oh, women are the breadwinners of the households that they lead in. Why do they lead in those households? Where are you at? Where the man at? Where he go? He just disappeared. He ain't at home. Well, can you go get him? I just want to talk to him. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't, I can't deal with it. Okay. So let me get back to this video. I don't like how she handled this situation. I don't, but I, I also understand that she's had this built up frustration. And so she just lashed out. Right. And sometimes when you lash out, you, you don't always handle situations correctly or appropriately. You don't. So I don't agree with how she handled this situation. Is he wrong? Dead wrong. He dead wrong. Okay. Ain't no way you, you not working or if you are working, um, you're not the breadwinner of the house, right? So then the roles, that means the roles are reversed and you know, this girl's about to go to work. Why not make her something to eat? That's just being so inconsiderate. And see, this is the thing, ladies, when you leave the home, when you are the breadwinner, when you are bringing home the bacon. They don't appreciate it. Men don't appreciate it. You like they mama to them. They don't appreciate that. They don't. And the reason is because they're they really not in a position as a man to really fully appreciate that because they're not leading their home. They're not leading their house. And so they don't really appreciate the fact that you are paying this, you're paying that because they know that they should be doing that. And so they don't appreciate it the same way a woman would when a man is doing it. Because the roles are reversed. Um, I don't think it's staged. I don't. I don't. I, I, no. The way that that girl's emotions. You want me to play a video again? Because I can play it again. The way this girl was upset. It sounded like she was like this was built up frustration. And she just lashed out. And so another thing that I want to. The reason why I, I also feel like she didn't handle the situation well. Is every time I see a woman come on here. And they try to blast a man. They don't understand that when they do that, they blast themselves. So now a lot of people are looking at her like, well, sis, well, why are, why are you dealing with a man that is not providing the way that you need? Why are you taking care of a man? That's why like when women come on here and they, they do their story times or they tell all their business, they putting this man on blast on Facebook or they, they putting some, some man that they dealing with on blast and stuff like that. Please understand that you're blasting yourself when you do that. And I'm never going to recommend that. that. This is why I don't believe in exposing people. Because when you expose people, it comes with a cost. And by her doing that, she just blasted herself. She just told the whole world that she's paying all the bills. This man is just laying up with her, eating up her food, probably driving her car. And he not really doing nothing for her. So she blasted herself in the process. But another thing that I want to point out, because this post somebody sent me, uh thank you for the super chat i'm gonna have to read it later hold on okay because this is this is we going to, this is almost two hours i gotta hurry up i'm sorry y'all okay okay so this man this is a black man's page y'all and this is what he said he said i gotta post this because in 2022 is this where relationships is at when when the sides switch I'm assuming when the role switch, but okay. When the woman is the breadwinner, my queens, my black sisters. <laughs> when I read that, I was like, oh, this is really a red flag. Is this woman right or wrong? We're trying to see something here. P.S. I would hate my woman paying the bills. I'd rather jack off or a white woman or a white woman before I let this happen. Yes, take your L's in silence, y'all, please. Okay, that last part. Um, this is another thing. 
men love to threaten us by being single. And I, to be honest, I, I, I laugh because you're never going to scare me out of being by myself. I enjoy my own company. I love being alone. I do. I can hear myself think. I'm happy. I'm upbeat. Like I'm excited. I'm optimistic. And I'm just like manifesting great things. So it's like, you're never going to make me feel bad or or you, you can't fear monger me into being alone. You just can't because I love my own company. I love hanging out with myself. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so peaceful. Ain't nobody bothering you. You can work on your body. You can, you, you look cute, girl. You're not gaining stress weight. Okay. You're not retaining stress like uh water, water weight. Okay. You just look good. You feel good. You know what I mean? A man ain't going to ever make me feel bad about being by myself. I love my company. I love my own energy. I do. I'm in love with myself. So it's it's weird that men will try to use that type of tactic. Like, well, oh, I'm going to just go jack off in my hand. Okay. Like, can you go and do that? Like, uh, I hope uh, I hope it works out for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, okay. Then he's saying, um, I'm going to go to a white girl. Have you left yet? You said you was leaving. You said you was going to go to, over to the Becky. Go to Becky with her salt and pepper seasoning self and leave me alone. Like, does that, like they really think that bother you or something. Is, is that supposed to be a jab? Like, I'm just like, dang, Becky cooking for you. Dang, Becky is doing all the things that I don't want to do. Especially when you're not providing. Have you left yet? Are you gone yet? Like, I'm I'm never going to be like, oh, my God, please don't leave. And that's what they want. That's what they want. Because you know what? For years, black women have always felt some type of way when it comes to black men dating white, white women. When I say I don't give a damn, I do not care. I don't. I'm just like, go ahead. I mean, and, and, and this man is not providing. He not doing what he's supposed to do. Now, did she handle the situation correctly? No. It should have never got to this point and she should have never blasted him online. I don't agree with that. But it's like, uh, he wasn't even doing what he was supposed to do. He over here cooking. He ain't even cooking for her. That, <laughs> Y'all, that's crazy. But he gonna look past all of his shortcomings to blame the woman. So I just, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm just not here for it. I don't feel like she handled the situation correctly. I don't condone. Listen, if you, if you spraying your legs, I have this rule with myself and I'm just, you take it if you want it. And if you don't want it, don't take it. I have this rule with myself. I don't spread my legs to men that I don't respect. If I can talk to you like that, these legs are closed. I shouldn't even be able to talk to you like that. I'm over here spreading my legs to a man that I can disrespect like that. That's crazy. I could never. I could never. This is why before I get disrespectful, I leave. I'm, I dip out. I ghost. I'm gone. I don't spread my legs to a man that I can ever disrespect like this. Ain't no way, y'all. Ain't no way. Because I'm like, dang, are you my bitch? You know what I mean? Like, that's how I would look at you. I'm like, dang. So I... I and, and if I see you like that, oh, girl, I'm not attracted to that. I, I'm just, I'm not attracted to that. So if I can, like, uh-uh, if, if I can, if I can, if I can have sex with you like that and talk to you like that, like, girl, that, that's too, yeah, it's too much. It's just, it's way too much. Um, I like a man to be dominant, but see, he ain't even, a, he he's not in a dominant position. He's not in a dominant role. And so he can talk, she can talk to him like that. And that's crazy. So when I say she blasted her, when she went live and recorded all this, she blasted herself, y'all. It ain't good. It's it's not good. And I am not impressed by this because I'm like, dang, I, I, I should not be able to talk to you like that. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Okay. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Like this looks bad on her a lot. It looks bad on him too. But it also looks bad on her. And that's why I don't agree with this type of stuff. Because I'm just like, woo. Um, but yeah, she shouldn't be. Listen, I don't, if I don't have respect for you as a man, there no, there's no way that you get in, in between these, these legs. It, it's just not happening. I'm sorry. You're not getting in between these cheeks. You're not getting in between these legs. 
you're going to have to find somebody else because it's just not happening. And that's why I don't jump into bed with men. That's another thing. Men try to come at me and they try to get me in bed and they think I'm going to be easy. I'm like, I don't even know if I respect you for real or not. I don't know you like that. I don't. But you see, this is another thing. Men will test you to see if they can take it there with you. They will. They're just trying to see where they can get in and uh, where they can fit in. But the reality is, uh, yeah, it's just not happening. Like, I don't know you like that. I tell men all the time, I don't know you like that. So it's just not happening. You can think I'm easy. You can, you can, you can stereotype me to be, but you're going to find out just how difficult I really am. Um, can I ask you, what do you think is the percentage of good black men? Just curious. There's no such thing. Sorry. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the nice guy. I tell y'all that all the time. I don't. I don't believe in the nice guy. I just, it, <laughs> I just don't. And it, it's no type of hate towards black men. I just don't. Like, I don't believe in, I don't believe in the good girl either. Like, I just don't believe in that. It's only a matter of time before she do something and she's not so good. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of time before a man do something and he's the villain in some, in some woman's story. So I just don't believe in the good guy. You know, I just, I don't, it's a trick and it's, it's a manipulation tactic that I've outgrown. And I would like for y'all to challenge me in a different way. Like throw something new at me so I can bring some new content to my page. Like, honestly, so I can get the girls updated on, you know, what's really going on out here. But the nice guy, like I'm over that. I'm not impressed by the nice guy. Mm -mm. Not the guy with the glasses, not the guy that reads and he's intellectual and he does all of this research and he's educated and he has a college degree. He's a higher achiever in society. I'm not impressed by that. I'm sorry. You're going to have to come a little harder than that. I'm sorry. I fell for that before. And it's just like, no, there's no such thing. Um, and, and people in general, like you're going to be the villain in somebody's story. And the only reason why black men want us to believe in, oh, he's a good black man. He's a, it's because black men have a negative stereotype. But the reality is all people, they, all of us, it doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. We are a villain in somebody's story. Somebody's. It's just, it is what it is. And that's what I'm saying. This creates too much room for gaslighting. When you say, oh, the good black man, uh, it just, it creates way too much room for gaslighting. And so I don't fall for that. Like it's delusional and it actually just does not make sense to me. Okay. So uh, I just, I don't believe in that. It don't have nothing to do with black culture or really has anything to do with black men like a white man couldn't even come to me and be like i'm the nice guy no you're not no you're not okay i don't i don't care if 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 you was five years old and you oops i said the n-word you know what i mean it's like oh so you the villain is you know what i mean you listen use that on somebody else because that ain't gonna work on me i don't believe in the nice guy i believe in a gentleman though See, a gentleman is, is a man where he opens the door for you, right? He's actively doing things to make himself to be a gentleman. But a nice guy, girl, please. That's the difference. So uh, -uh. uh, in order for you to be a gentleman, you actually have to show that you are one. For you to be a nice guy, that don't take no work. All you got to do is smile, be a little nerdy, wear glasses. I fall, I've fallen for that already like that's why i said like i need y'all to challenge me more like i'm just i'm i'm bored i'm like dang it's like i've been around the sun y'all know i'm a late bloomer so i've been out here getting my experience and it's just like i'm actually bored like dang this is it come on throw me something else so um no i i just don't believe in the nice guy and y'all don't believe in the nice white boy either don't please don't i i just i don't believe in it Yes. Uh, yep. A gentleman. Thank you. A gentleman is actions. A nice guy is words, a facade, an image, a perception. But when that mask falls, sis, whoo, you see a totally different person.